Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The landing gear is a critical component of any aircraft, whether it's a helicopter, fixed-wing airplane, or even a space shuttle. Over the decades, engineers across the globe have explored various landing gear configurations, from skids and floats to innovative shock-absorbing designs. Yet, wheels have remained the dominant solution for ensuring consistent and safe landings across nearly all types of aircraft. While they may resemble automobile tires at first glance, aircraft tires are built to withstand far greater stresses and are engineered to endure the extreme pressure fluctuations experienced during high altitude flight and rapid landings. Despite advances in materials and design, however, aircraft tires are not infallible. This C-17 Globemaster is one of the larger cargo planes used by the United States military. It boasts a maximum takeoff weight of nearly 600,000 pounds and is more than 170 feet long. In order to support the plane's incredible bulk during storage, takeoff, and landing, the engineers installed five total landing gear sections with 14 individual tires. These tires are 40 inches in diameter and 16 inches wide. In order to change out flat or damaged tires, a number of tools must be used. First, the landing gear must be partially deployed and the old tire strut raised with a jack. This ensures that a worn or damaged tire can be taken off. A new tire is then strapped inside a wheeled sling, giving the maintenance team the leverage they need to install it on the strut easily. In many cases, a talented team can accomplish this replacement in just a few minutes. Military maintenance crews around the U.S. will often put their tire-changing skills to the test at both formal and informal competitions. Hang on, hang on, hang on. These sorts of events aim to give the teams a chance to practice their craft under extreme pressure. In some cases, the crews will be switched up to increase the difficulty. After all, there's no guarantee that a team won't have to work with pilots or other personnel unfamiliar with the process in the event of an emergency tire change. Challenges like this are scored by speed and by ensuring that the different crews avoid penalties for various mistakes or setbacks. One of the most important aspects of aircraft maintenance is ensuring that proper working parts are on hand at all times. This is the duty of aircraft parts store journeymen, who are tasked with verifying, inventorying, checking, and moving supplies in the on-base warehouse. It's imperative that these men and women know the different parts and which aircraft they go to. They must also manage the ordering and stocking process so that no components are lost in the immense space. When it comes to tires, 
Each type must be clearly labeled and stored for quick retrieval. At around 80 to 100 pounds each, moving even a single tire can be challenging without the right equipment. The U.S. Air Force transports troops, equipment, and supplies around the globe using large cargo planes with massive payload capacity, such as the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy. Introduced in 1970, the C-5 has remained integral to U.S. Air Force logistics for more than 50 years. The 247-foot-long aircraft is the largest cargo plane ever put into service by the United States. The C-5 has a cargo compartment with both front and rear cargo ramps, allowing the cargo to load and offload from either side of the aircraft. The cargo compartment is 19 feet wide, 13 feet high, and 121 feet long, capable of carrying a wide range of equipment such as helicopters and satellites. To load a helicopter like an AH-64, the crew sets up a ramp and loads it onto the aircraft diligently. Whereas, to offload the AH-64, the crew sets up three wooden surfaces, one each for its front and back tires combined, and then drag it out of the cargo compartment using a tow bar. A satellite, on the other hand, is loaded from the front end of the cargo compartment using a truck. The truck reverses backward towards the cargo ramp, and the satellite container is moved inside the cargo compartment using rollers. An aircraft of this enormous size, specifically designed to lift heavy cargo, Lockheed Martin, came up with a unique idea. The C-5 Galaxy was equipped with five sets of landing gear with a total of 28 wheels, which helped the aircraft carry heavy payloads. The four main landing gear units feature a six-wheel bogey with two wheels forward and four wheels rear of the shock absorber, capable of rotating through 90 degrees for inward retraction. In comparison, the four-wheeled nose gear is equipped with hydraulically driven ball screw units to retract backward and rotate at an angle of 120 degrees. Since the C-5's inception in 1970, it has been a common practice for air crews to check the landing gear before takeoff. They thoroughly assess the overall condition of the gear, specifically the alignment, wear, corrosion, and any bent parts.
In addition, the air crew performs inspections such as a swing test during repairs or maintenance, which allows them to verify whether or not the gears are moving as intended. The technicians in the maintenance crew overhaul, repair, and sometimes even modify the landing gear if required. They disassemble the landing gear to check for any cracks, deformities, and structural imperfections. Each component of the landing gear is monitored separately to verify if any piece needs to be repaired or replaced. The components are tested with various techniques, such as video measurement and roll scan techniques. Finally, the repaired parts go through the process of plating, grinding, and painting before they are fitted back into the landing gear. The most critical subsystem of the C5 is its landing gear, as it supports extreme load, especially when the aircraft is taking off or landing. If the landing gear fails, it can cause a severe accident, costing millions of dollars in damage and endangering the lives of personnel on board. A landing gear mostly fails due to wear or corrosion on the internal diameters of its aluminum cylinder. This is where the all-new magnetron sputtering technology comes in. This versatile coating technique involves placing sputtering probes between worn-out cylinders that sputter one atom at a time of aluminum coating on the inside of the cylinder, making it look like a brand new piece. Austere landings refer to aircraft operations from unprepared or minimally prepared surfaces such as dirt strips, grass fields, or broken runways. Success necessitates specialized aircraft features such as strong landing gear, strengthened tires, and improved debris resistance. Military transport aircraft, such as the C-130J Super Hercules, excel at these demanding missions. Due to design constraints, commercial aircraft and many military planes cannot execute austere landings. Their landing gear, low-hanging engines, and unique tire designs limit operations to designated runways. Whether absorbing the force of touchdown on prepared runways or braving austere terrain in remote regions, landing gear systems endure some of the most extreme demands in aviation. Behind every safe landing is a combination of engineering precision, tire durability, and the tireless work of skilled maintenance crews. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.